In this video, we're going to take a look at applying a shape to the picture and then fill in that shape with type or text. Right, coming across, let's take a look at applying the shape first. Now coming in, if you click down, you have got all of these available to you. You've got the rectangle, you've got the rounded rectangle, the ellipse, the polygon, and the custom shape tool. This technique will work on any of these Right, it's the custom shape we're after. That little heart shaped icon there showing us that it is the custom shape. You can now see that up on the menu bar. Coming across, there's the shape, a poor print. Not so sure it would work with this picture, but clicking down, and there it is. There's the rest of, or some of the shapes, should I say, that are available to us. As I said, this technique will work on a whole range of different pictures, and if you want more shapes, just click on the side here and there it is. There are a huge range for all different types of events. Right, it's the default ones that we've got selected here. This is the one that I'm after, the little heart shape one. And if you just come up, click on the little cross there, and that dialog box will disappear. One of the important things to mention is the color that we have got here is the color of the foreground color, but we can still change it. Click on the little arrow, coming across, we're going to click, we're going to select the red here. So clicking down, in goes the red. Right, simply press enter or return, that dialog box disappears. We can come down, we can click, we can drag it out over the image, something like that will be pretty good. But you can still resize it, you can still reposition it by just using Command T or Control T, puts the transform tool around it. You'll notice that it's constrained proportion, so we can come in and you can drop it down in size, you can make it bigger in size. I'll leave it quite big so we can see exactly what's happening. Okay, next we have got type or text to be added to this box. Right, coming across, there is the type tool. That's the way it always looks. But as soon as you bring it across, you'll notice the way it changes. It goes, it loses that outside rectangle. It comes and it's now just got a line going through it. This is for typing inside this path. That's what we're using. When we apply the shape, you'll notice it's gone in as a new layer here, shape one. So we've actually got a sort of a path that we're using. Bring the cursor inside again, and you'll notice it's actually got that circle shape to it. So you've gone from a rectangle to that line to a circle shape around it. Right, let's come in. We're going to click down in that area there. You'll notice a bounding box has gone along. The text tool has put itself in here called Layer 1. And we're just going to simply type some text in there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go for, uh, let's go for 18. That should be pretty good. Oh, look at that, red not what we want. Right, if I just come into this, if we change it, so you can change the color of this to whatever color you want, I'm going to go for white, call it a hunch, but I think that might look better. Using, just typing in whatever you want, I'm going to type in this, which is pretty good, sort of happy Valentine's Day. Now at the moment it's not committed, it is still showing layer one across here, but if you click on the little green tick, or click on the T itself, it's now committed and in it goes. Right, that looks pretty good like that. But what we can do from now on is we can start cheating. Once we've actually typed it in, we can actually come back to it. Just highlight it. Now using Command C or Control C, that's Command C or Control C, we can copy this. Coming in, just put in your cursor, so it's just clicking down, putting in a space. Now using Command V, Control V, we can paste this in. Using the spacebar, Command V or Control V, paste this in. Spacebar. Until we come across, I'm going to do this just a few times like this before we can start cheating even more. I'm using the space there, coming through. This time I'm going to use Command A or Control A. So try that, Command A or Control A. You have now selected all of this text. Right, you now use Command C or Control C. We have now copied it all, coming in, giving us the space, and we can now paste in bigger chunks. So the more you do, the more you actually get and if I just use command A for the last time control or command C and just place my uh, cursor down here give me in the space and that just fills it in nicely all constrained within the shape looks pretty good and if I just double click on that there it is zooming in you can see great stuff worked exactly how I wanted it to, to, to work but there's a few changes we can make and I'll show you those in a minute Right, to the shape itself. It looks a bit flat, it looks a bit uninteresting, it looks a bit 
ordinary. So if we come down to the shape itself, we're going to come up to Layer. We're going to drop down to Layer Styles. We're going to go to Style Settings. Now with Style Settings, we're going to go to Drop Shadow, but experiment with some of the others as well. I've got Drop Shadow. Bring your cursor out. It is still an arrow, but there's a bit of a trick we can use, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Size. Yep, I'm going to bring the size out, and you can see the way it's coming out over the edge there distance as well, that's all adjustable, the opacity, that's adjustable like this. So there it is, but you might also like to try, depends on the shape, depends on the event, you might also like to try something like the outer glow, and you know, you might think that works well for this sort of image, in fact, does, doesn't it? Okay, right, perhaps you might leave it at that, we'll leave our options open. Coming in, we have also got stroke, clicking on stroke, it is black. Black's not good for this, so we're going to change it to white. White looks better. Clicking on that, we've got three pixels. You'll notice it's on the outside, so I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to go quite tight at about four pixels there. That looks pretty good like that. Right, coming back to this, what we're going to use? Outer Glow or... I'm going to leave it at Drop Shadow for now, and I'm just going to click OK. Oh, something else I wanted to apply. If I double click on the effects, so come over to the layers panel where you've got the effects, if you double click on this, we can now come through to this. With the drop shadow now, if I bring my cursor out, you'll notice it is now the move tool, so I can click down and I can move this around, placing it like this. Something else I want to do is I want to come to bevel, I'm going to click on bevel, I've got up is ticked here, come into size, and if we bring this up, you can see the way we give that another dimension, that looks even better like this, a bit like a silken heart type thing, must be getting soft. Right, so that looks pretty good, like that, and we're going to click OK. Don't forget, you can still change it to glow if you want to. Click OK to that. Something else you might like to try. I'm leaving the, the shape quite large just for this particular demonstration purposes type thing, but something else you might like to try is if you come into the picture, we're on the type tool, we're on the text layer there, you can see I've got my type tool selected. If you click down on some of the text, we can come through and perhaps just highlight this area here. Now you can take as much or as little as you want, I'm going to come down, perhaps even do two lines and just drop down so I get the kisses in like that, sweet or what. And if we come up, we're going to select the font size, we're going to take the font size up larger. I'm going to go from 18 pixels to, let's go to 36 pixels. Uh, perhaps a bit ambitious. Right, let's drop it down. Let's go to, I don't know, 30 pixels. It is. It's hit and miss. It's seen what works, and I think that works a treat. So we've just got some larger text in there. So it's just a, a great way of working. You can see you can just have a, a bit of fun with it. You can make it, you know, it's a really special sort of uh, Valentine's card in this particular case, but equally it can be for birthdays, anniversaries, special events whatever you want. Right, we're on the text, the type layer here. What if you want to reposition it, resize it? Not a problem. There we are. Coming down onto the shape layer, now press Command or Control, so we've now selected the two layers. Command T, Control T is putting the Transform tool around it. Don't forget, Constrain is ticked, so we can come into the top corner, you can make it bigger, smaller, we can reposition it, we can give it a little bit of an angle, which I think will work well with this, and there it is. Just click on the little green tick there to apply it. That's it. Job done. Go on, give it a try. It's a great way of just producing something a little bit different. Using text inside the shape there really works, or you can do it on the, the shape itself, but go on, give it a go. Until the next time, it's happy imaging, and take care.